Kitchen Science series where we are going to be exploring our five senses, sight, smell, sound, taste, and touch. In this video, we are going to be exploring the sense of smell. So let's get started. Smell is one of your five senses. The kitchen, because of its association with food, provides as a wonderful laboratory for exploring your sense of smell. Your nose contains many nervous cells that respond to odors. These cells are so responsive that you can recognize smells from the kitchen while in another room. The sense of smell serves several purposes. Your sense of smell works as a safety device alerting you uh, to a smell of something burning, such as a burning building, or even to spoiled foods. It's also responsive to pleasant odors, which is why your nose may draw you in when you smell your favorite food being cooked or when you go to smell a flower. Smell also works very closely with your sense of taste. It is almost impossible to put food into your mouth without smelling it because it passes under your nose. Therefore, taste is often a combination of taste and smell. Think about how your food tastes when you have a cold and can't smell. Your food might taste more bland than normal or not as good. So for today's activity, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be doing an activity with spices that are found in your kitchen. So let's get started. So let's get started on the materials that you're going to need for this activity. You are going to need different colored temper paints, some cups for mixing your paint, a marker of some sort, some paint brushes, a piece of paper to paint on, either like watercolor, construction paper, um, maybe a paper that's a little thicker so that way your painting doesn't bleed through. Um, you are also going to need an array of spices from your kitchen cabinet. Um, so any spice that you have, um, for mine I'm going to be using cinnamon, nutmeg, chili powder, and mustard. And for as many spices as you have, you are going to need that many colors of temper paint. So for each spice, it's gonna have its own color. So once you have all your supplies collected, what you wanna do is you're going to pour each color of your temper paint into your cups. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to assign each spice to a color. You can also do this activity if you only have one color, that's totally fine. Um, I would just make sure to take your marker and mark what spice you are putting on each of your cups. Um, so that way you can keep track of which spice is in which cup. Um, but if you are using multiple colors, you can assign each spice to different cups. So for mine, I'm going to take my chili powder is gonna be my white, my mustard is gonna be my yellow, my cinnamon is going to be my red, and my nutmeg, my orange. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pour just a little bit of each spice into the paint. And what we're gonna be doing for this activity is we're going to be painting with our, our spices so that way you have a spice scented painting. So after you poured each spice into your cups, I did go ahead and label each cup what it is just so I can keep track of it too. Um, that's what I just did with my marker here is I just labeled each spice that I poured into each cup um, onto our paint cups. Um, and you only need a little bit, I would say maybe like a teaspoon of each spice into each of your paint cups because we're only just going to do a little bit of each paint. Um, and so after you have all your paint in there, make sure to mix it around. You should be able to see, especially if you're using like a white, your paint might turn to that color of what the spice was. Um, and then you just want to mix it around so it's nice and mixed in for each spice in the paint. And after you have it all set up, you're gonna take your painting paper and you are just gonna paint whatever kind of picture you would like. Get creative with it. You can paint different spices or plants. Um, this could be a project that you could take outside and kind of let nature be your inspiration for your project. Um, you can paint a friend, your pet, whatever you would like, just get creative with it. So go ahead and just take your paints and have fun and paint a picture that you like. Alright, 
so here is my picture that I drew just real fast. I drew a pretty little rainbow in the corner, a dog and a cat. And I also just went ahead and I swatched all of my paints right here. Um, so after you have your picture all painted, go ahead and set it aside to dry. All right, so after your painting is all dry, you can go ahead and smell your painting and you will be able to smell all of those lovely spices that you mixed in with your paint. So you have your very own spice scented painting. Um, and like right here, I swatched all my paintings that way I know like which one you could even take your marker and write um, which spice was which that way you can keep track of. And so you'd be like, oh, my, my yellow paint smells like my mustard and my red paint's my cinnamon. Um, so you have your very own scented painting. The kitchen has many strong scents, and for this activity, you can even brainstorm a list of your favorite or least favorite scents in the kitchen. Uh, some of your favorite scents may be um, when you're baking cookies, or your least favorite scents may be when your kitchen's being cleaned and you smell the cleaning uh, supplies. Some of the scents that you may list on this list of your favorite scents or least favorite scents um, come from when you're cooking, right? And when you're cooking, a lot of times you add seasoning and those seasonings come from when you use your spices and your herbs. Now, spices and herbs are additives to food that give them a different or stronger flavor or enhance the flavor of the food. Um, an example of this would be when you maybe add salt or pepper to your food. Those are different seasonings as well, such as like cinnamon or chili powder or mustard. Um, those are all seasonings that you can add to your food um, to add a different flavor or enhance the flavor of your food. Well, I hope you had fun with today's activity and now I'll know a little bit more about your sense of smell and have a fun activity that you can do with spices in your kitchen to explore that sense of smell a little bit more. Um, be sure to check out all of our other videos and activities that have to do with the other senses or for some more fun steam activities. Thanks for watching. Bye!